What's up everybody? Hope you're all doing well this uh, quite dreary weekend. But uh, yep, go with the Commander 23, back again with this week's update. No DVDs this week, only Blu-rays. And a couple of things before I kick off. Uh, first off, I apologise for the uh, lateness of this video, but um, I've been at the cinema all afternoon, so this, this is kind of like the only chance I've had to do it. So again, apologies. Uh, also, the up, uh, video that I just uploaded, my movie night, Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, again, was I uh, actually kind of planned to upload that last uh, last night, but uh, just circumstances, but basically it took six tries to upload the freaking thing, which it's, it's not the first time that's happened, so uh, that did go up quite later than I um, uh, wanted it to, so again, apologies for that. So yeah, got a decent amount of stuff. Um, some, uh, well, actually triple dip in, but I'll explain all that uh, in due course. So yeah, first off, we'll kick off with the big box set, which I did an unboxing for, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail on, which is the Sopranos Complete series on Blu-ray. Now, I've finished season one last night, going on to season two, a matter of film this video, and I have to say, this is probably my favorite TV show box set of the year, and yes, that, that is including Twin Peaks. Just, so as I watched season one, and I can't believe how good it looks in HD. Now, I didn't own the original Blu-ray release of season one, uh, so I can't really compare it, but I have heard they've done a, um, a new transfer on season, on season one, and also season six came out in the US on Blu-ray as well. But season one on Blu-ray looks absolutely incredible. It honestly looks like it was filmed like in, within the past few years. It's a really, really good transfer. Um, I mean, I'm not kind of a big video file, you know, I'm not, I can't really kind of, um, uh, to give me like a, a bad transfer and a good transfer, I can't really kind of like like pick out why good, why the good transfer is good and why the bad transfer is bad. But um, for me, if it looks good, it looks good. And this looks very, very good. So uh, yeah, definitely recommend picking this up. Now I don't know how much is gonna be in store, if any, any store is selling it, but um, for now I only paid 70, just over 75 quid. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty, um, um, happy with that, you know, it can go for, it probably go for quite a, quite a lot more. It is a bit too big, but um, there you have it really. So, yep, that's Sopranos Complete Series. Oh, yep, Complete Series. And next up, uh, these things are the same, but different. Uh, basically, Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out last Monday, and different, um, different places had different offers on. I know Amazon at Cody Amazon.co.uk had a free comic book. I know Sainsbury's. Uh, sorry, Sainsbury's had a free Lego Spider-Man keychain, and I know um, Tesco had a. Um, if you bought the Blu-ray, you get a free um, kind of I think about six, seven inch figure, which I did um, pick up. But yeah, so basically, I went to Sainsbury's, picked up the Sainsbury's exclusive, which again, like I said, came with the uh, Lego Spider-Man keychain. And um, I thought, because um, kind of uh, lot, <coughs> most of the um, Sony films that come out that have slip covers, they actually seal the slip cover as well, you know, because most companies kind of seal the blue and put the slip cover over it. But with Sony, they actually seal the slip cover itself. So I was thinking, yeah, they're basically just going to kind of like get a big box, which which this is, and um, just basically put the uh, the regular Blu-ray in the box. They didn't. They took the slip cover off and just stuck the. Uh, just stuck the regular 2D, 2D edition in without the, without the slipcover, which I was absolutely livid at. Uh, 13 quid, I just assumed that they just kind of like put the Blu-ray in the box, but no, they obviously took the Blu-ray, took the plastic off, took the slipcover off and stuck it in the box. Now, I don't know if that was, I'm guessing it's in the manufacturing stage. I don't think Sainsbury's themselves did that, but it's still it's still kind of annoying. But uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be um, selling this, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be selling it. There's no reason. I was gonna um, buy the slip cover and keep both the um, 2D and the 3D, which I'll get to in a second. But I'm gonna flog this, and uh, also picked up the 3D edition from Tesco. You get the free. Uh, it's a little um, Spider-Man uh, figure, which is quite cool. I mean, it's free. I wouldn't have bothered picking it up if um, I don't know. But 18 pounds as well for the 3D, which is most places it's like. Uh, uh, upwards of twenty pounds, so I thought, why, why the hell not? And yeah, say you get free figure. It's nothing like, um, like great. It's got like a little backpack thing. You just, like a back, uh, put it on like some magnet. You also get this like uh, this mask thing that comes off. And it was free, so why the hell not? Uh, it's, it's it's all right, I suppose. Oops, that back thing came off. But yeah, I picked up the three D one because basically I wanted to uh, 
get the uh, slip cover and it, I just kind of came to my senses so I'm going to be um, basically going to be selling the 3D disc out of this and um, just keeping um, just keeping this the slip cover book without the 3D disc and I've also got the uh, Angel V exclusive steel book as well so uh, yeah I'm going to be like I said, I'm going to be selling the 3D disc out of here and also selling this as well so get a money bit of, bit of my money back I should say can't get my fucking words out anyway uh, next are a few decent pickups. First off, I'll get to the um, random ones. Uh, first up is uh, Funny People. Uh, pretty sure the only Judd Apatow directed film that I have not seen. I think it. Yeah, I think it is. It's under like four or five. But um, I've always I've always liked Judd Apatow as a as a director. He, most of the uh, most of the ones he produces, I can take or leave. But the ones he directs, I always uh, I always look forward to seeing. Uh, I heard kind of mixed things about this. People saying it's not his not his best, which is fair enough. Got great casting here. Obviously, with it being Judd Apatow, you've got the regular um, Apatow collaborators: Seth Rogen, Jonah Hill, and his wife Leslie Mann. Obviously, and it was Adam Sandler as well. Uh, I haven't watched this one yet, but I've heard mixed things about it. Like I said, but uh, yeah, uh, now I did have the one disc edition, but I bought this for uh, four pounds. It's a two disc two disc edition. It's the uh, Basically, it's just the Blu-ray and um, more special features. And I do get special features on the one-disc Blu-ray, but with this you get just more of them. So uh, yeah, pick this one up. So that's funny people. Uh, only four quid I paid for that, so a pretty decent price. And next up is also a pickup from AV Forums. Uh, remember seeing this in HMV when it came out? It looked kind of interesting. It is uh, the reluctant, reluctant fundamentalist. Uh, big fan of his Ahmed and a great cast in here. You've got Kiefer Sutherland, Leif Schreiber and Kate Hudson. Looks like a decent enough thriller. I mean, nothing kind of groundbreaking, but it, look, it looks decent enough. So I wanted to pick it up. Only, uh, I think I paid four, no, I think I paid five for this actually, which could have gone, I could have got it for a bit less, but uh, there you go. So uh, looks like, I haven't watched this one yet, but it looks kind of interesting. And then next up is um, a Blu-ray that I could take, uh, probably, well, Maybe not never, but probably not going to watch the actual film um, anytime soon. But I wanted to pick it up because it came with the quite rare slipcover, and it is uh, Jennifer's body with this like super 3D and a uh, super booby um, slipcover. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to watch the film. I'll say that I don't think I'm ever going to watch it because uh, I think I mentioned this a few times. I'm not the biggest fan of Megan Fox. I mean, I don't mean really find her that attractive to be quite honest, but. Uh, there you go, I suppose. But it looks, uh, it looks all right, I guess. I don't really fucking know, but um, yeah, that's it. But I say I wanted to pick up the rare slip cover, and it only he only charged me eight pounds, so I thought that's a decent enough price. Like I say, it can go for quite a lot of money. This slip cover as well, so to get it for eight quid is not bad to get the Blu-ray as well. I mean, sometimes you can pay like more than eight pounds for just a slip cover, but with the Blu-ray, I thought, why the hell not? So that's Jennifer's body. Yep. And last title for this update, we have Thor: The Dark World. Uh, I went to town the other day. Popped into CX, which I do quite regularly when I'm in town, and um, I was just looking, thumbing through the Blu-rays, and I saw this, and I'm wanting to collect all the Marvel 3D Blu-ray slipcovers, and I'm well on the way. I've got this Iron Man 3, Captain America 2, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the Avengers is probably going to be the hardest one to get because that is long out of print, and you can't really, get, you can't even get. I don't really see the even the Blu-ray that much, that much nowadays, but. Uh, I say I saw it. It would have been fifteen pounds, but I had some vouchers. I still got about like thirty-five quid in vouchers, so uh, I paid an out for it. So that's pretty good. Uh, usually, it's pot luck in um, CX whether when you get a slipcover where it's like completely battered or uh, good condition. This one is in damn good condition. I mean, there's one or two kind of scratches and marks on the back of it, but nothing too noticeable. Which uh, I thought I thought was pretty cool. So uh, I picked it up. See, so, yeah, that's thought the dark world. So. Uh, yeah, that'll about do for this update. So, uh, fair few things. Say a bit of door dipping. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, it's quite a big release release, release week next week. Uh, even though I get paid till Tuesday, so I'm not going to have to buy anything till then. Uh, they've got a Blue Ruin. Um, what else? Um, something else big this week as well. Um, our Bad Neighbours as well is coming out, and there's a, a few other things that I'm wanting to pick up. Uh, which to be honest, I'll probably wait till some of them are down in price, but uh, yeah, so you'll probably see uh, one or two, uh, two or three of those uh, in my update next week. And tomorrow, hopefully, 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 tomorrow, I should have a big unboxing. 
well, yeah, big unboxing that I've been waiting for a long time to get. Uh, it should be with me, hopefully tomorrow. I've got everything crossed, even things that you can't cross. Um, so yeah, you can look out for that tomorrow, be either tomorrow or um, Tuesday, depending on when I can upload this, or not this, whether I can upload that. So uh, yeah, that's all I'll do for this update. So thanks as always for watching, and have a great day.